Hello all and welcome to the channel. Gamekeeper John here, out and about today. Uh, we're going to try and get ourselves some dinner. We've got the catapult with us. We've got the cooking gear. Um, squirrels, pigeon, rabbit, uh, whatever comes along really. I'm going to make a little survival catapult out in the field. Show you all you need to keep in your survival pack. It's in a little tiny tub about that big. That's all you need to get game on the table. We've got the giveaway. We're going to announce the winner. And of course, we're going to do another giveaway. It's uh, it's beautiful out here. It's about seven o'clock in the morning now. I was a little bit sceptical about coming out. Um, it's been absolutely hammering down. We're still having showers now. It is very fine raining now, but um, it is stopping. But we've got showers all day. The wind was bad. The lighting isn't the best. It's like I don't mind coming out in the rain. That's fine by me. But uh, with the camera gear and that, I was like, should I just come out and have a mooch and not film it? Lots of like, no, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna go for it. Um, we've got a few miles to cover, um, and we'll just see what happens. But yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. Well, when you look in, eh, just walk right in the corner, there's a branch down there, and on this little bit at the end of the branch, there's a perfect fork there, which is a lovely fork. Not only that, there's another one, a slightly smaller one, there. And it's from an already fell tree, or shall I say a fell branch, so I'm not damaging anything. Uh, if anything, I'm upcycling the tree that would have lied there and rotted. So without further ado, we're going to take this one, because this is the fork that I want. And it's a nice chunky one, it looks really good. Let's take it. So how about that for a touch, walk around the corner, a branch snapped on the floor, already pretty much dried out as well. So I was chopping the tree down, upcycled, catapult fork, save it going to rot. Right, when you're cutting the fork like this, always overcut it at first, you can always take it off but you can never put it back on. It started spitting the rain again, there's a massive black cloud coming over, I have got my waterproof should I need them, and I've got a tarp with me should I need to make a shelter, but it might pass, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up the top end of this woodland, find a little bit of shelter and show you how to get this fork done and ready for shooting, and uh, then we're going to try and bag ourselves some game, because I am a bit peckish. Well the weather seems to be clearing up a bit, there's still a bit of drizzle, but as you can see it's brightening up a, a little bit. I'm half knackered, walked about, I don't know, 10 minutes up a big hill. <laughs> Spotted a couple of squirrels uh, that seem to be really high up in the trees and I can't get within 25, 30 metre. So, yeah, I think I'm definitely up against it. I've seen no rabbits, but I have seen about seven buzzards so far. So um, that might explain why there's no rabbits. But um, yeah, we'll keep going. I'm gonna get this little uh, catapult built now, a little survival one have some practice shots with my other catapults, get ready for the squirrels or rabbits, and just see how we go. Now with the survival catapult, it couldn't be any more simpler. Grip it, how you'd want to hold it. Let's get a stone, just mark it off, it's there. And then cut it to size. So, your slingshot is cut to shape. Now, it couldn't be any more simpler. I carry one of these little Kinder Egg um, things that come in the side of the kiddies' toys. What I keep in here, one, it's hard, two, it's small, three, it protects what's inside, and you've guessed it. In here, we have a double band set, a hunting band set, which is double layer ferroband, which will hunt anything. And we also have in there the binding on strips and the string, so everything is in the little Kinder Egg toy pot in my mooching bag, and it's what, about an inch and a half by about an inch big, takes up no room, and this is all you need to get you an adequate hunting weapon while out in the woods. The rain has started, the mist is picking up, we'll carry on. First of all, what you wanna do is get your little pen knife and just slightly round the tips off. It's a two second job, no more than 20 seconds on each one. And this little rounding off on the fork tips 
will just give you enough smooth edge just to stop the bands tearing on a rough cut edge. Now they're all rounded off, next step you're going to need your bands, your two tying strips and your piece of string to attach them. Now this couldn't be any simpler, I'm not going to go into detail in the video but I do have other videos online. You put your band set on, you hold it on, you do a few wraps of the ferro band like so, so one, two, three, four, you get your string, you put it on there, you go over the string once, twice like so, put your string back through the ferro band, pull like that, and that is on. Bob's your uncle, that is not coming off. And repeat the process on the other side. And there you have it, it took no longer than 10 seconds to cut from the tree, 20 seconds each side to round the tips off, 10 seconds each side to put the elastic on. So within a minute, you can make yourself an efficient primitive hunting weapon within a minute, just from carrying that around in your mooching bag, your survival bag, your hunting bag, whatever you want to call it. No need to worry about ammunition. There are plenty of rocks and pebbles on the floor. And believe me, if I was out in the wild and I had a band set with me, I would definitely be able to feed myself for several weeks, if not months, just with this, with the ammunition that I could find on the ground. Right, I've spotted a couple of squirrels really high up the tree, they are. But I'm gonna have a few practice shots and warm ups with this now. We're gonna be practicing it around, practicing it around 20 to 25 yards, because the squirrels are across and I, so I wanna get the, the shooting right for when I get on the squirrel. So we're gonna put a little spinner up or a little target and have a few shots at around 20, 25 meters so I can dial in at the range where I can see my quarry. So yeah, let's get some practice shots done, eh? I have had what can only be described as a nightmare. I forgot my ammo. I've gone for my mooching bag. I've got two balls. So I'll practice shots today on that green spinner. And I can hit my jumper now, which I've had to take off in the rain to catch the ball. So I've still got two balls. On the plus side, I've done some target shooting the other week with some friends up the woods. And I'm pretty certain there's a load of steel balls left around the base of the tree. So I will have to look for them if I can't get nothing with these. But there's a green spinner there. If I can hit it with one out of two shots, I'll go in for my game. Um, it's raining, it's getting cold, I've got two balls. <sighs> it's not looking good, but we're gonna crack on, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I've hit one. The one that I missed was literally that far away, so I still think it would have hit a squirrel's head. In case something happens and I go through the jumper or lose a ball on the floor, I'm going to play it safe. I'm happy with that. One hit. One was literally a quarter of an inch away. So I'm confident I'm shooting well. Um, let's get after these squirrels. Two balls until we get to the other side of the woodland where I believe I can find some on the floor. It's not looking good, is it? We'll crack on. We will crack on. What a nightmare, eh? The mist is descending behind me. I'm pretty certain I can find some balls though, so like I say, it's about half a mile, three quarters of a mile away where we've done a lot of target shooting the other day and although we was catching the ammo, you can never pick them all up and I'm pretty certain if I have five minutes there, I can find 20 or 30 balls, which should be enough, <laughs> hopefully. But we've got a few woodlands to go through first. We've got this big woodlands here, then another one. And I have got two shots, and I'm not going to waste the shots now. Uh, I'll wait till I get a good one, but... And I can use stones, even though I don't like to, I will do if I have to. Right, we're going to get in this woodland behind me, up there. And then a few more woodlands down is where we shot, so I might be able to find some ammo. So we'll flick over to GoPro cam now, and we'll get our asses up in that wood. Well, not a thing in that woodland, but on the plus side, I am in the shooting grounds now where I was with my pals the other day. So we try if we can see and find some uh, ammunition. This is where we were shooting, hence the, uh, the 
broken chalk discs and stuff. I'm praying we can just get a couple. Well, I know we shot hundreds of shots around here. Ah, right, here we go, look. It has started to rust up a bit. Definitely started to rust. Oh yeah, and another rusty one. <laughs> yes. Thank God for that. I know if I have 10 minutes here now, I'll find a few. I found it. Here's another one. Started to rust up again. This is foraging, this is. Well, I found three in what? 30 seconds. So I'm going to switch the camera off now and have a little look around here. Um, if I can get me another 10 or 20 balls, I'll be confident then. All as I can say is uh, the mooch will be on. We're going to give it our best. And uh, I'm feeling confident now. I've got more than two balls, put it that way. Hey, it's nothing wrong with two balls. Here comes the rain again. We're going to get some balls together and crack on. I didn't expect the last woodland to produce, to be honest. Um, there's not normally a lot there, but the next two woodlands, I've seen squirrels there on the way up. So if nothing else, we should be able to have a few shots at a squirrel. Well, I've just spotted a couple in this woodland here. Woodland number three now. So I'm going to switch to GoPro cam and get in there quick. But there's definitely two squirrels in there. I've just seen them at the top of the tree kind of fighting with each other. Um, so yeah, this could be the chance, this could be the chance, failing that, we've got one other little woodland down the bottom and we might have to call it a blank, but I've seen two in here, I'm going to get in there, um, see if we can have a shot, time to switch over to GoPro cam. Got him. He'll drop. He's coming down, look. It's a headshot. He'll come down in a second. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Oh, just going to retrieve him now. He was the other side of the wall. Um, that was a tree he was up. Where are we at? Should be down here somewhere. He hasn't gone for a while, there he is. Let's get him cooked up. Yes! <laughs> oh, happy days. Uh, didn't think it was going to happen today. Um, really had to work for that. Covered three, four mile, but up and down, mooching at a slow pace. So we've been out a bit, we've been out about four hour, five hour now. But I've got him in the bag. We've got him. I'll tell you where I'm going to go to prepare it. You know, um, that first spot where I built that little survival catapult on the log. The rain's pretty much stopped now. It's coming down a little bit, but we're going to go over there. I'll get the little cooker out. And uh, we're going to have squirrel wraps. Whoa, come on then. See how these turn out. Looking forward to it because I am Marvin starving. Get in. Just on my way down to that log now to prepare the squirrel, but don't forget we're going to announce the winner of the giveaway at the end of this video. We're also going to do another giveaway. Uh, also, if you like this kind of stuff, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really does help it circulate around YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. Your subscription really, really counts. So, let's get down there. And if you're after any of our products, if you look in the video description, you'll find a link to our eBay and our website. Uh, catapults built by hunters, four hunters, to get the job done. Right, we're going to get to this bench, get that squirrel prepared and have some lunch. So the squirrel's all prepared now. We're going to get some meat off him. We're going to fry it in here. Just so glad we got something because, uh, well, it didn't look good, did it? So I'm going to slowly cut the meat off this now, fry it off in there. Result. <laughs>
looking absolutely beautiful now. Look at that. Oh, happy days. I will make two fantastic wraps. Plenty of meat in them. We'll be having a bit of that. We will definitely be having a bit of that. Was alive just 10 or 15 minutes ago. Turn the gas off. And there you have it. Two squirrel wraps. Right, let's smash them. <laughs> Get in. It smells lovely as well. Smell good. Do you think? What a lovely way to spend a morning and early afternoon up the woods. Yeah. A bit messy all over me. Right, I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see you all in the next show. Oh no, I won't see you in the next show. I've got the giveaway to do. Right, let me eat these and I'll get the giveaway done. Nearly forgot. <laughs> so the giveaway for who said the word mole. Right, I've gone roughly into the middle of the comments. And I'll go up and up and up and up. I won't be looking. Keep going. We're good. We go. Oh, we're back at the beginning. We need to be at the end soon. I don't know where to stop. Right, give me a, what number can we pick to make it fair? I can see. Well, I've been in three woodlands, okay? So we'll get to the bottom. Yeah, we're at the bottom and we'll go one big push, two big push, three big push, ah, bang! And the winner is Jesus Ramirez. Jesus Ramirez says, Mole, please leave your email address on this comment. I'll get back in touch with you and email. There's no fair way to do that, was there? We had to say the word mole because we seen a mole hill and we'd done three big scoops up because we seen, um, well, we went in three woodlands, right. Another giveaway, we're going to give another Gamekeeper Bloodstopper with GZK bands away, just like the one that should be appearing somewhere on the screen now. Uh, what comment should we say this time? Balls, because I forgot my balls. So we'll the comment the word balls. And in the next video, we'll give another away. So comment the word balls on this video, and in the next video, we'll randomly pick one like we just did. Um, like I say, thanks all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and rate the video. It really does help. Feel free to share it as and where you want. Um, don't forget to try out the survival catapult. You know, that little Kinder Egg toy thing in your mooching bag could save your life, really. It could keep you fed for a month. I know it would help me if it get fed. Um, and that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all up the woods sometime, eh?